Hi guys, my name's Nathan. Today we're going to take a look at how to add blue stacks into OBS so that you can stream to your favorite streaming services. Let's get started. <music> Okay, we're going to add a BlueStacks game into our OBS capture. First thing that we need to do is get back here to our desktop and open wherever you have BlueStacks saved to. I just created a folder on my desktop so I can easily get to all my games and launchers and open the BlueStacks launcher. It will take just a bit for it to load. Now that we're launched into the BlueStacks main screen, we'll get over here to our games. But before you launch one of your games, come up here to the top right and click on the menu icon. And then third one down is your streaming mode. Click the toggle. As you can see, it just flashed a screen behind but it disappeared. If you click on menu again, you will see that streaming mode is now enabled. We have a blue toggle. Now we can launch whatever game that we want to play. My favorite and one that I stream with is Star Trek Fleet Command. Now if you notice that when it launched, it's not in the main blue stacks window because what will happen in OBS if you capture, do a game capture with just this main window you're going to end up with all of this all these settings and you're not going to end up with a very clean look so we can minimize this window and in the next window it does say streaming game from bluestacks and we're launched to my home station here in star trek fleet command this is what we want to stream which is just the main window so we'll go back now into OBS. Come down here to your sources in the scene that you want it in. Click the Add button and do Game Capture just like you would any other game that you want to capture. We're just going to make a few changes to the settings. Let's create new. We'll leave it as Game Capture for now. You can rename this to whatever you want. Properties for the game capture will pop up. Normally, you would capture full screen, but with BlueStacks, you want to capture the screen exactly as it launched because sometimes, as if you BlueStacks in full screen, there can be some artifacting and some other lag, and we want to eliminate that. What we want to do is capture it in the native resolution that it launches as. So, right now, for our mode, instead of full screen, we need the second option, which is capture specific window. We get some more options that pop up here. We now have a window with a blank bar. Click on it, bring up your drop down menu, and you'll see a list of any available windows that you can capture. What this will do is eliminate this top white bar from being in your stream and cluttering up your stream. So we'll click on window and we want the one that says HD player streaming game from BlueStacks. Once you click it, it's sometimes a good idea to pop back over to your game. Make sure your game is still open. Come back here to OBS and wait a little bit for it to populate your game capture. There it goes. Now that we can see, there is no more white bar in the preview. Everything else looks okay. We do want to capture the cursor. Um, you can capture the third-party overlay with it, but it doesn't... Um, in BlueStacks, doesn't really matter. Um, from there, just click OK. Now we have the game 
loaded here into OBS, and we'll move that around just a little bit so we can see it. And now your game's into Bluestacks. Like any other game capture, you can resize this to fit into your stream however you want it to fit. And if you're streaming with Bluestacks, one thing you can do, if you're, especially if you're not running a dual monitor setup like me, is once this is where you want it, you're in your live stream, and over here, what would be on the uh, sides, we want to go back, let's get back here to, let's move game capture, and let's move this out of the way for a minute so that we can see more of our regular OBS. So, normally you have your screen capture, and then in these gray bars on the side with your Twitch streams, uh, if you have your chat and your statistics, um, your Twitch telling it what you're playing, uh, loaded up into these sidebars, when you have the game open and you have Twitch there, now we can move this around to center up how we like it. And over here on the side, we can see that there is plenty of room. You can view your stats, you can view your chat and your events, and be able to see and reply in near real time. That's a look at adding a Bluestacks game in to uh, OBS. Hopefully uh, this little video helped you. Catch me over on Twitch. I don't have a set schedule, but you can follow me. Twitch.tv slash KC0IWS. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.